Hello friends, welcome to my lecture on correlation and regression. This is my first lecture on correlation and regression. Uh, very often a relationship is found to exist between two or more uh, variables. For example, blood pressure of a person uh, and his age, rainfall and crop yield, consumption of food and weight gain, height and weight of a person, the pressure of a given mass of gas depending on its temperature and volume. For practical application, for practical applications we often are interested in obtaining a linear relationship between the variables. Suppose x and y are two, two dependent variables, we wish to approximate by, by a linear relationship of the form g x equal to a plus b x where the constants a and b are to be determined so that the error defined by s equal to expectation of y minus g x whole square which is equal to expectation of y minus a minus b x whole square is minimum. That is the uh, error is minimum in the least square sense. So, we may write this uh, equation 1 as s equal to e y square plus a square plus b square into e x square minus 2 b e x y minus 2 a e y plus 2 a b e x. Now, a necessary condition for a function of two variables uh, say here they are a and b ok. You can see uh, we want to minimize s, s is a function of two parameters a and b. So, in order for s to be a minimum we must have the partial derivative of s with respect to a equal to 0 and partial derivative of s with respect to v equal to 0. These two equations are known as normal equations. Thus, the normal equations are if you uh, differentiate s with respect to a partially, okay, then you get partial derivative of s with respect to a equal to 2a uh, minus 2ey plus 2bex. Okay. So, we get partial derivative of s with respect to a as 2a minus 2ey plus 2vex and we put it equal to 0. Similarly, when we differentiate s partially with respect to v, we get 2bex square minus 2exy uh, plus 2aex. Okay. So, we get 2bex square minus 2exy plus 2aex equal to 0. Now, this equation, okay, this equation gives us a minus e y plus uh, b e x equal to 0 or I can say e y equal to this equation gives you e y equal to uh, a plus b times e x ok. And from this equation what we get? Uh, we get uh, a e x uh, plus b e x square equal to e x y. Okay. So, we have two equations this one and this one okay, which are given by number 2. Okay. So, there are two equations uh, connecting the two unknown values a and b we can uh, they are linear equations in a and b. So, we can solve them for the values of a and b and when we solve them we get b equal to e x y minus e x into e y upon e x square minus e x whole square. Now, e x y minus e x e y gives, gives us the covariance of the uh, uh, random variables x and y. So, covariance of x y divided by e x square minus e x whole square is variance of x. So, b equal to covariance of x y divided by variance of x and when we put the value of v in one of the two equations say for example, uh, uh, e y equal to a plus b e x we get the value of a. Okay. The value of a comes out to be uh, e y minus uh, covariance of x y divided by variance of x into e x. Hence, the waste fitting linear curve in the least square sense is given by y equal to a plus b x where a is e y minus covariance of x y divided by variance of x into e x plus b, b is covariance of x y divided by variance of x into x. We can rewrite this equation 
we can rewrite this equation as y minus e y equal to covariance of x y over variance of x into x minus e x. Okay, so we have this equation: variance of uh, y minus e y equal to covariance x y over variance of x into x minus e x. This equation is known as the regression line of y on x. Okay. For a given value of x, you can uh, uh, get the approximate value of y using this equation. So we, it is called as the regression line of y on x. Similarly, the regression line of x on y. We, when if you are given the value of y and you want to estimate, get an estimate of the value of x, then we need we need the the regression line of x on y. So we, in a similar manner, we can find the regression line of x on y. It is given by x minus e x equal to covariance of x y over variance of y into y minus e y. Now, since the point e x e y okay, satisfies both the equations 3 and 4. Okay. So, now, you can see if you put here the point e x e y in this equation then you see e y minus e y equal to 0, e x minus e x equal to 0, so 0 equal to 0. So, e x e y satisfies this equation. Similarly, here e x e y satisfies this equation and therefore, we uh, it follows that the two regression lines intersect at the point e x e y, e x e y we also denote by mu x mu y. So, they meet at the point mu x mu y. Okay. Now, uh, if e x square and e y square exist, okay, then the regression coefficients of uh, uh, the regression coefficient of y on x is denoted by beta by x and is defined as beta by x equal to covariance of x y divided by variance of x and the regression coefficient of x on y is given defined as beta x y denoted by beta x y and is defined as beta x y equal to covariance of x y divided by variance of y. Now, using these uh, regression coefficients, the regression line uh, of y on x, okay, the regression line of y on x uh, which is uh, y minus mu y equal to covariance of x y over variance of x into x minus e x. I can write it as y minus mu y uh, equal to covariance of x y divided by variance of x into x minus mu x. I can write it as uh, beta uh, covariance the covariance of x y over variance of x is be, uh, the uh, regression coefficient of y on x. So, beta by x x minus mu x and this equation which is the regression equation uh, regression line of x on y uh, can be written as x minus mu x equal to beta x y into y minus mu y. Okay. So, using the uh, uh, notations for regression coefficient of y on x and x on y, we can uh, write the regression lines of y on x and x on y in this manner. Okay. So, this is your regression line of y on x okay. and the other one is the regression line of x on y this one the regression line of x on y. Now, correlation coefficient the Pearson correlation coefficient is a measure of the linear correlation between the two variables x and y. It was developed by Carl Pearson if e x square and e y square exist then the correlation coefficient between x and y is denoted as rho r we also write it as rho x y and it is equal to covariance of x y divided by sigma x sigma y. Now, covariance of x y by definition is e x y minus mu x mu y and sigma x is square root variance of x that is e x square minus mu x square and sigma y is square root of variance of y which is uh, square root of e y square minus mu y square. Now, the regression line of y on x okay, using uh, the uh, a definition of rho we can write the regression line of y on x in this form you see we have uh, we had y minus mu y equal to covariance of x y divided by uh, variance of x into 
x minus mu x ok and rho is equal to rho is covariance of x y uh, b rho is equal to covariance of x y divided by sigma x sigma y. So, covariance of x y is uh, rho times sigma x sigma y. So, I can write it as rho times sigma x sigma y divided by variance of x is sigma x square. So, we have sigma x square and then x minus mu x ok. This cancels with this and we get rho times sigma y over sigma x x minus mu x. So, by minus mu y equal to rho sigma y over sigma x into x minus mu x. In a similar manner, we can uh, express the regression line of x on y in terms of uh, rho. Okay? Uh, we have uh, x minus uh, mu x uh, equal to uh, covariance of x by divided by uh, variance of y into by minus uh, mu y. Okay. So, when you put for covariance of x y you put uh, rho times sigma x sigma y and then divide by uh, rho y square what you get is uh, rho into sigma x divided by sigma y. So, we get x minus mu x equal to rho into sigma x sigma divided by sigma y into by minus mu y. Okay. Thus, we note that this is beta by x ok this is beta by x and by our note, uh, definition this is beta x by. So, when you multiply beta by x and beta x y what we get rho sigma y over sigma x ok into rho sigma x over sigma y and this is equal to this cancels with this this cancels with this you get rho square. So, beta by x into beta x y equal to rho square the two random variables are x and y are called uncorrelated if the coefficient of uh, uh, correlation coefficient rho is equal to 0. If x and y are independent variables, okay, if x and y are independent variables then we know that expected value of x into y is equal to expected value of x into expected value of y. Okay. Hence, covariance of x y, covariance of x y is uh, expected value of x by e minus expected value of x into expected value of y. Okay? This we know. So, uh, when uh, x and y are independent random variables then E x by e equal to E x into E y gives us E x into E y minus E x into E y gives us covariance of x y equal to 0. That is now covariance of x y is equal to 0 means rho, rho is given by covariance of x y divided by sigma x sigma y. Okay? So, when covariance of x y is 0, rho equal to 0. So, if x and y are two independent random variables then x and y are uncorrelated. Okay? So, x and y x if x and y are independent by are independent then they are uncorrelated but the convert but, but we shall see that the converse is not true okay the converse is not true. Okay. So, let us show it by means of an example. Uh, let us uh, show that uh, uh, rho is equal to 0, okay, but x and y are dependent random variables. Okay. So, let us take this example. Let us say that the random variable x is uniformly distributed over the interval minus 1 to 1 okay, and y is equal to x square then x and y are uncorrelated. Now, we know that if the x and y if x is uniformly distributed over minus 1 to 1 then the density function of x is given by uh, the density function of uh, 
uh, f x x equal to 1 over b minus a. Okay? If it is uniformly distributed over the interval a b, then f x x is 1 over b minus a. Uh, so, this is 1 over uh, 1 plus 1 that is 1 over 2 when x lies in the interval minus 1 1 and 0 otherwise. Okay. Now, we need to uh, find the value of rho and show that rho is equal to 0. Okay. So, we have found f x x. Now, we need to find expected value of x. So, expected value of x is integral over x into expected value of x is integral over uh, 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 minus infinity to infinity uh, x into uh, f x x dx. Now, it is half over the interval minus 1 to 1. So, this is integral over uh, minus 1 to 1 uh, x into 1 by 2 dx. Okay. So, this is half into uh, x is an odd function of uh, odd function of x. So, integral over minus 1 to 1 uh, x dx will be equal to 0. So, expected value of x is equal to 0. Now, expected value of y is equal to expected value of x square. Okay. So, expected value of x square means integral over uh, minus infinity to infinity x square f x x dx which will be equal to integral over minus 1 to 1 x square into 1 by 2 dx which is equal to 1 by 2 into uh, x square is an even function of x. So, 2 times 0 to 1 x square dx. So, what we get is x cube by 3 integral of x square is x cube by 3 uh, over the interval 0 to 1 and this gives me value 1 by 3. Uh, so, we have got the value of expectation of x expectation of y. Now, let us find the value of because we want the value of uh, 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 rho. So, we need to find expected value of uh, uh, e x y uh, expected value of x y. Okay. So, let me find expected value of x y. This is uh, expected value of x y is y is equal to x square. So, we get expected value of x cube. So, integral over minus infinity to infinity x cube f x x dx this is equal to integral over minus 1 to 1 x cube into half dx and we get 1 by 2 uh, x cube is an odd function of x. So, the value of the integral is 0 and we get e x y equal to 0. Thus, covariance of x y equal to e x y minus e x into e y equal to e x by 0. Okay. We have found e x equal to 0. Okay. So, this is 0 minus 0. Okay. So, 0 and hence rho, rho equal to covariance of x by divided by uh, sigma x sigma y okay, is equal to 0. So, coefficient of correlation is equal to 0, but we are given that y is equal to x square. So, coefficient of correlation is 0, but the random variables x and y are dependent. So, this is a problem which shows that the converse is not true. Now, let us uh, prove the cauchy schwarz inequality. We shall need this cauchy schwarz inequality to show that the uh, value of the coefficient of correlation that is rho lies between minus 1 and plus 1. So, if x and y are random variables of the same type that means either both of them are discrete random variables or they are both continuous random variables. So, then expected value of x by whole square is less than or equal to expected value of x square into expected value of y square. Let us take psi to be a real valued function okay, of the uh, real number t. Okay. So, let psi be a real valued function of a real variable t defined by psi t equal to expect expectation of x plus t y whole square where t belongs to r. Now, x plus t y whole square is greater than or equal to 0 for every value of t belonging to r. Therefore, it follows that psi t is also a non-negative function 
of t ok. Psi t equal to expectation of x plus t y whole square is also greater than or equal to 0 for every value of t belonging to r. And therefore, we can write psi t as uh, we can write psi t equal to expectation of x square plus 2 t x by plus t y t square by square ok. And this is equal to expectation of x square 2t is a scalar. So, plus 2t times expectation of xy plus t square times expectation of y square which is greater than or equal to 0. Now, let us denote expectation of y square by a expectation of 2 x expectation of x by into 2 uh, by b and expectation of x square by c. Then psi t is equal to uh, uh, a t square plus b t plus c which is greater than or equal to 0 for every value of t belonging to r ok. So, psi t is equal to a t square plus b t plus c which is greater than or equal to 0 for every value of t belonging to r. Now, we have to see uh, two graphs ok this graph and this graph they are both uh, see a t square plus b t plus c ok is a parabola ok it is a parabola uh, so uh, this is a parabolic curve ok. And uh, from the graph of psi t it follows that either now since uh, this psi t is always greater than or equal to 0 either psi has no real root ok in which case b square minus 4 a c ok will be less than 0 because it is a quadratic equation in t or psi has a unique real root in which case b square minus 4 a c equal to 0 in this graph you can see it has a unique real root. So, in that case b square minus 4 a c will be equal to 0 and therefore, combining this case and this case ok we have b square minus 4 a c less than or equal to 0 ok. So, b is equal to 2 times e x y so b square is 4 times e x by whole square and less than or equal to 4 times a that is e y square into c which is x e x square. So, we get e x by whole square less than or equal to e y square into e x square which proves the Cauchy Schwarz inequality for the random variables x and y. Now, let us show that the correlation coefficient rho is bounded by 1 that is mod of rho is less than or equal to 1. So, by Cauchy Schwarz inequality for a, if you take any two random variables u and b then expectation of u b whole square is less than or equal to expectation of u square into expectation of b square. Now, let us define u to be equal to x minus mu x and b equal to y minus mu y. Then from this equation ok we have expectation of x minus mu x into y minus mu y whole square less than or equal to expectation of x minus mu x whole square into expectation of y minus mu y whole square. Now, this is what uh, you can see this equation this this is nothing but covariance of x y ok. So, covariance of x y whole square this is sigma x square this is sigma y square which is which that is the they are variances of x and y. So, we get covariance of x y whole square less than or equal to sigma x square into sigma y square dividing by sigma x square sigma y square we get uh, covariance of x y whole square divided by sigma x square sigma y square less than or equal to 1 or rho square is less than or equal to 1 which implies that mod of rho is less than or equal to 1. So, this proves the uh, uh, result that the coefficient of correlation is bounded by 1. Now, let us take an example uh, the joint probability mass function of x and y is given in this table ok. These are the values of x and these are the values of y ok. We are, uh, we are so uh, if uh, when x takes the value 0 y takes the value minus 1 ok f x y the joint uh, probability mass function of x and y that is f x y this is the joint probability mass function I am denoting the joint probability mass function of x and y by f x y this is joint probability mass function of x and y ok. So, uh, uh, this is the probability that x takes the value 0 by takes the value minus 1 this is the probability that x takes the value 0 by takes the value 1 
and this is the probability that x takes the value 1, y takes the value minus 1, this is the probability that x takes the value 1, y takes the value 1. So, uh, if we, the marginal density function okay, f x x, this is marginal density function of x. So, f x x is equal to probability that x takes the value x. So, x takes the value 0 okay, probability that x takes the value 0 will be equal to uh, 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 okay, which is equal to 1 by 2 and then uh, the probability that x takes the value 1. Okay is equal to uh, 2 by 8 plus 2 by 8 which is equal to 1 by 2. So, f x x for x equal to 0 okay, this is the case when x is equal to 0, this is the case when x is equal to 1. So, f x x is equal to 1 by 2 when x takes the value 0 and 1 by 2 again when x equal to 1. Now, let us find f y y. Okay, f y y is probability that y takes the value y. Okay, so let us first find the probability that y takes the value minus one. So y takes the value minus one. So this will be equal to one by eight plus two by eight, which is equal to three by eight, and probability that y takes the value one which is equal to 3 by 8 plus 2 by 8 which is this is equal to 5 by 8. Okay. So, uh, the marginal density function of marginal density function of y equal to f by y Okay, is equal to, uh, is equal to uh, uh, three by eight for y equal to minus y equal to minus one by uh, equal to uh, minus one and two by uh, five by eight three by eight for y equal to minus one and for y equal to one it is five by eight. We have to find the correlation coefficient. So we need to find the expected value of x and expected value of y. Okay. So expectation of x. Let us first find the expectation of x. It is uh, 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 the values of x multiplied by the corresponding probabilities. Okay. So uh, x takes the two values. Okay. X takes the value zero. Zero multiplied by its the probability f x. Okay. So x is equal to zero multiplied by half okay plus 1 multiplied by 1 by 2 so we get expectation of x equal to half expectation of y we can get similarly okay values of y multiplied by their corresponding uh, uh, probabilities so value of y is minus 1 okay multiplied by 3 by 8 and then value of y is 1 multiplied by 5 by 8 so, 5 by 8 minus 3 by 8 is 2 by 8 which is equal to 1 by 4. So, expectation of x is 1 by 2, expectation of y is uh, 1 by 4. Now, let us find expectation of x square. So, expectation of x square, x is taking value 0 and 1. Okay. So, 0 square means 0 multiplied by 1 by 2 plus expected value of uh, uh, sorry uh, 1 uh, uh, we are getting values of x as 0 and 1. So, 1 square that is 1 multiplied by uh, the corresponding probability that is half. Okay. So, expected value of x square is half, expected value of y square we can find. Now, y is taking value minus 1 and plus 1. So, minus 1 square is 1, uh, 1 into the probability is 3 by 8 plus 1 square means 1 multiplied by 5 by 8. So, we get it as 8 by 8 that is equal to 1. Okay. So, we have got the values of expectation of x square, expectation of y square. 
now uh, let us find the expectation of x y. So, expectation of x y ok. So, values of x are uh, uh, x and y take values uh, x is equal to 0 y equal to minus 1 so 0 minus 1 ok then 0 and 1 then uh, x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1 so 1 minus 1 x is equal to 1 y equal to 1 so 1 1 ok. So, expected value of x y is uh, multiply the values of x and y with the joint probability uh, that is joint probability mass function of x y. So, x is 0 so 0 into minus 1 ok x into y multiplied by 1 by 8 ok then 0 into 1 multiplied by the uh, joint probability 3 by 8 then uh, 1 into minus 1 multiplied by 2 by 8 and then uh, 1 into 1 multiplied by 2 by 8 ok. So, how much is this? This is 0, this is 0 and here what we get minus 2 by 8, here we get 2 by 8 ok. So, expectation of x y equal to 0 ok and thus what we get uh, uh, we need we thus we have rho equal to uh, covariance of x y divided by sigma x sigma y covariance of x y is expected value of x y minus e x e y divided by sigma x sigma y. Now, this is expected value of x y equal to 0. So, 0 minus expectation of x expectation of x is half expectation of y is 1 by 4 ok divided by sigma x sigma x is equal to square root e x square minus e x whole square ok expectation of x square we found that is equal to half minus expectation of x is equal to 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 square means 1 by 4. So, this is 1 by 4 square root of 1 by 4 is 1 by 2. So, we get 1 by 2 here ok square now let us find sigma y ok. So, sigma y equal to square root expectation of y square it is equal to 1 ok uh, expectation of uh, y is equal to 1 by 4. So, 1 by 4 whole square. So, this is equal to uh, square root uh, 15 by 4 ok. So, we get here square root 15 by 4 ok. Uh, this cancels with this, this cancels with this and we get it as minus 1 by root 15 ok. So, rho is equal to minus 1 by root 15 which is equal to minus uh, 0 0.2582. Now, uh, let us consider another problem uh, let x y be a, a two dimensional random variable uniformly distributed over the region r bounded by y equal to 0 uh, y equal to 0 x equal to 3 uh, y equal to 4 by 3. x ok. So, this point of intersection is 3 4 ok. Now, this is the region R ok. Uh, region R is bounded by y equal to 0 x equal to 3 and y equal to 1 by 4 by 3 into x. Now, area of the region R is equal to Uh, uh, 1 by 2 into base because it is a triangle. So, base is equal to 3 into height, height is 4. So, we get 6 ok. Uh, now, since the random variable is uh, uh, since x y is uh, two dimensional random variable which is uniformly distributed over the region R ok. So, we have uh, f x y equal to 
of 1 by r means 1 by 6 uh, when x by belong to r okay, and 0 otherwise. Okay. We need to first find uh, the uh, marginal density functions, okay. the marginal density function of x let us find first okay so we have uh, fx x equal to by varies from 0 to uh, 4 x by 3 fx by into dy okay uh, for a, b, this is the probability that x takes the value x so this is equal to uh, by varies from 0 to 4 x by 3 uh, 1 by 6 dy. So this is equal to and here uh, x uh, when x when 0 is less than x less than 3 okay we have f x x equal to this. So this is equal to 1 by 6 uh, 4 x by 3 and this is equal to 2x by 9. So, f x x equal to 2x by 9 when 0 is less than x less than 3 and otherwise it is 0. So, we write it like this f x x equal to uh, 2x by 9 when 0 is less than x less than 3 and 0 otherwise. Let us now find the marginal density function of y. f by y. So, f by y equal to now this is the probability that y takes the value y. So, x varies uh, we have this region okay. this is y equal to 4 x by 3 this is x equal to 3 and this is y equal to 0. So, x varies from uh, x varies from 3 y by 4 to 3. So, 3 y by 4 to 3. Okay, and f x y dx. So this is uh, three y by four to three one by six dx. Okay, so one by six times uh, three minus three y by four. Okay, so this is one by two minus one by uh, eight uh, by. Uh, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 8 y. Okay. So, f by y is given by 1 by 2 minus 1 by 8 by uh, when 0 is less than y less than 4. Okay. Y lies between 0 and 4 this is 3 4 point and 0 otherwise. Okay, now let us find expected value of x. So expected value of x is uh, x multiplied by its probability density function, and x varies from zero to three. Okay, x varies from zero to three. So zero to three uh, x times f x x. F x x is uh, two x by nine uh, d x. So, this is uh, 2 x square by 9. Okay. So, 2 by 9 uh, x integral of x square is x cube by 3. So, we put the limits and we get 2 by 9 into uh, 3 cube. 3 cube means uh, 27 uh, divided by 3. So, we cancel this and get expected value of x as 2. Now, expected value of y. So, integral over by f y y t y y varies from 0 to 4 and what we get is uh, integral over 0 to 4 by times f y y is uh, 1 by 2 
माइनस वन बाई एट बाई डी वाई सो दिस इक्वल टू वन बाई टू बाई स्क्वायर बाई टू माइनस वन बाई एट बाई क्यूब बाई थ्री लेट अस पुट द लिमिट्स एंड वी गेट दिस इज फोर फोर स्क्वायर बाई फोर सो वी गेट वन बाई सो वी गेट फोर ओके माइनस वन बाई एट बाई क्यूब इज फोर क्यूब सो फोर इंटू फोर इंटू फोर डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री ओके सो दिस विल बी फोर माइनस एट बाई थ्री सो दिस इज थ्री फोर जा ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व माइनस एट सो फोर बाई थ्री सो दिस इज एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ बाई नाउ एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स बाई ओके सो बी टेक द ज्वाइंट प्रॉबिलिटी मास फंक्शन हियर सो फॉर नाउ लेट अस सी वी हैव टू इंटीग्रेट ओवर दिस एरिया ओके फॉर द ज्वाइंट प्रॉबिलिटी मास फंक्शन सो बाई वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू फोर एक्स बाई थ्री एक्स वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू थ्री एंड वी हैव एक्स इन टू बाई एफ एक्स बाई डी एक्स डी वाई डी वाई डी एक्स एफ एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू वी आर गिवन एफ एक्स वाई इक्वल टू वन बाई सिक्स सो दिस इज वन बाई सिक्स टाइम्स इंटीग्रल ओवर जीरो टू थ्री इंटीग्रल ओवर जीरो टू फोर एक्स बाई थ्री एंड वी हैव एक्स इन टू वाई डी वाई डी एक्स दिस एफ एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू वन बाई सिक्स ओके ओवर रीजन आर सो वी हैव वन बाई सिक्स इंटीग्रल ओवर जीरो टू थ्री एक्स एंड देन वी गेट बाई स्क्वायर बाई टू एंड वी हैव द लिमिट्स जीरो फोर एक्स बाई थ्री डी एक्स सो वट वी गेट इज वन बाई सिक्स जीरो टू थ्री एक्स टाइम्स बाई स्क्वायर मीन्स सिक्सटीन एक्स स्क्वायर बाई नाइन सो सिक्सटीन एक्स स्क्वायर बाई नाइन इंटू टू दैट इज एटीन ओके बाई स्क्वायर बाई टू मीन्स सिक्सटीन एक्स स्क्वायर बाई नाइन इंटू टू सिक्सटीन एक्स स्क्वायर बाई एटीन सो वी गेट हियर टू एट जा सिक्सटीन एंड हियर वी गेट नाइन ओके दिस दिस डी एक्स ओके सो वी हैव एट बाई सिक्स इंटू नाइन एट डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स इंटू नाइन एक्स क्यूब इंटीग्रल ऑफ एक्स क्यूब इज एक्स फोर बाई फोर जीरो टू थ्री सो वी गेट एट बाई सिक्स इंटू नाइन एंड देन वी हैव हियर थ्री टू दी पावर फोर दैट इज एट्टी वन डिवाइडेड बाई फोर ओके सो फोर टू जा एट ओके एंड टू थ्री जा सिक्स एंड देन वी कैन कैंसिल थ्री नाइन जा ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन विल कैंसिल ओके थ्री विल कैंसिल इट एस ओके 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 थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन हियर एंड नाइन कैंसिल ट्वेंटी सेवन विथ थ्री सो वी गेट एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वाई एस थ्री ओके नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ बाई स्क्वायर ओके सो एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर इज इंटीग्रल जीरो टू थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर इंटू एफ एक्स एक्स डी एक्स ओके एंड एफ एक्स एक्स वी हैव फाउंड टू बी इक्वल टू टू एक्स बाई नाइन ओवर द इंटरवल जीरो टू थ्री सो दिस इज जीरो टू थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर इंटू टू एक्स बाई नाइन डी एक्स इट कम्स आउट टू बी टू बाई नाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ एक्स क्यूब इज एक्स फोर बाई फोर जीरो टू थ्री वी गेट टू बाई नाइन इंटू एट्टी वन बाई फोर ओके सो नाइन नाइन जो एट्टी वन एंड वी गेट इट नाइन बाई टू समी वी कैन फाइंड एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ बाई स्क्वायर इंटीग्रल जीरो टू फोर बाई स्क्वायर एफ बाई वाई डी वाई एंड इट कम्स आउट टू बी इंटीग्रल जीरो टू फोर एफ बाई वाई इज वन बाई टू माइनस वन बाई एट वाई सो वन बाई टू माइनस वन बाई एट वाई डी वाई एंड दिस इज वन बाई टू बाई क्यूब बाई थ्री माइनस वन बाई एट 
by 4 by 4 and we get the value as uh, 1 by 2 by to the 4 to the power 3. So, 64 by 3 uh, minus 1 by 8 4 to the power 4. So, 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 divided by 4. Okay. So, this cancels and we get this cancels with this we get 2 this cancels with this we get 2. Okay. So, this is 8 and here we get 32. So, 32 by 3 minus 8. Okay. So, we get uh, 8 by 3. Okay. And so, rho x y equal to uh, uh, E x y which is E x y minus E x into E y. This is covariance of x y. Okay. Uh, sigma x sigma y. Okay. So, we found E x y equal to 3 okay. and E x equal to 2 E y equal to 4 by 3. Okay. So, 3 minus 2 into 4 by 3 divided by sigma x. Sigma x equal to square root E x square minus E x whole square. E x square we found is equal to 9 by 2 and E x we found to be equal to 2. So, 2 square is 4. So, we get uh, uh, this is 1 uh, by 2. So, 1 by 2 square root and sigma y equal to square root E y square minus E y whole square. E y square we found to be 8 by 3. So, 8 by 3 minus E y, E y we found to be equal to 4 by 3. So, 4 by 3 whole square. So, this is how much? Uh, 8 by 3 minus 16 by 9. Okay. And this is LCM is 9, 24 minus 16. So, we get uh, 8 by 9 that is 2 root 2 divided by 3. Okay. So, we get here uh, 1 by root 2 into 2 root 2 divided by 3. Okay. So, how much is that? Uh, uh, 3, 3 is 9, 9 minus 8, 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 divided by this cancels with this 2 by 3 and we get the value as half. Okay. So, rho x by equal to half. Okay. So, rho is equal to correlation coefficient is equal to half. So, this is how we solve this problem. Uh, with that, I would like to end my lecture. Thank you very much for your attention.